So undoubtedly, unmistakably, that is the building. I've got no problem whatsoever with that assumption. I concur that the building you can see is this concrete silo in Sharpen Stocks. So with the correct view of height of 20 feet, we get a hidden value of 160 feet. I'm not even going to account for a fraction, which we should be doing by the way. That means at least 50 feet of that building should be visible. There is some mirage in, I get that, but we can pretty much see all of it, yeah? I'm glad you mentioned the miraging. If we go back to his original freeze frame, you can clearly see a good example of a Feta Morgana, which is a form of superior mirage due to the refraction of light. No, no, no. You were flipping the script on us, folks. It's refractions working the opposite as they claim it is. You might notice that you can see a flipped image at the base of the bridge footings. If we draw a lining like this, then we can clearly see the actual horizon. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that does not look like our building is completely visible. I'd say, what, just under half is visible? And that ties in a lot more with what we'd expect to see. This humble pie I've got here, Adam, you're more than welcome to if you like. It was observations and videos like this, early on, that fueled our questioning of the globe model of our given radius. This was some years back, so maybe Dan would have a different view on this image now. But this certainly appears to be an inferior mirage, not a superior mirage. And we know that distant objects appear lower than they actually are with inferior mirage and or sinking refraction present. This can easily be demonstrated by viewing over level bodies of water at short distances and low vantage points where curvature cannot factor in. Here. The center of the camera lens is placed at 1.5 inches above the surface each day, and the opposite bank is around 1,000 feet from the observer. And with inferior mirage present, distant objects that are well above the surface appear lower than they actually are, while the light from the bottom 8 inches or so of the bank does not arrive to the viewer. So the camera in Level Earth Observer's observation was around 20 feet above the surface. The building was 21 miles away and 213 feet tall. If we assume a level plane, that gives the building a top angle of nearly one-tenth of a degree. This is similar to an object at two feet above the surface viewing from one and a half inches at 1,000 feet away, like in our observations. That top angle would be a bit more than a tenth of a degree. So this observation can be explained across a level plane surface with light refraction causing inferior mirage and downward displacement of distant objects. That means at least 50 feet of that building should be visible. But if the Earth were a sphere of our given radius, with inferior mirage present, you would expect to see even less than the top 50 feet of the building, not more of it. The entire horizon drops. Boop. This is now a false horizon because it is created by refraction, which is what happens in a mirage over distance.
Thanks for watching. More to come soon.